everyone, it's Dave Asprey with Bulletproof Radio. Today's cool fact of the day is that an Israeli graduate student has designed jewelry that gets embedded in your veins and it uses your blood flow and your movement of your body to generate electricity so you can charge your cell phones or other portable electronics using your own body. Now, I don't know about you, but that seems a little bit sketchy because there's this thing called electromagnetic fields and I would be afraid to embed something like that into my body, but who knows, maybe it'll work or maybe it's one more step towards making us all into Borg. Haven't figured that one out yet, but uh, whatever it is, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued to see what happens next. Today's podcast is, uh, is really cool. Uh, I've got Mark Alexander with ARX or ArxFit on. Uh, Mark is a co-founder of the company and he runs EfficientExercise.com. Hey, I'm Dave Asprey here at Paleo FX where we're recording this live and you might hear some background noise on this episode. It's okay, just drive faster and the road noise will soak that right up. You don't even have to worry about it. Uh, Mark Alexander from ARX is here and you guys have heard me talk about bulletproof exercise and how you really don't need to kick your ass all the time and, and you go work out every day and, and how some people are actually harming themselves by overtraining. Um, so this is something I have in my biohacking facility on Vancouver Island. It's the ARX technology, ARX. It's insane because you've also heard the Bill McGuff sort of talk about low, uh, high intensity, low speed exercise, eccentric movement. Well, this is a machine that's completely computer driven. There's not even weights involved. And it's something that blows me away. So when I first met Mark, it was about three, four years ago at yeah, the, the 21 yeah, convention. convention yep. So he had this kind of stupid looking machine at the time. It, it's, it's much cleaner it, it's, looking it's now. It's come a long it, way. It was yep, the first yep, prototype yep. ever, right? Yep, okay. Yep. And, and he put me on this thing and put a belt on me to do a belt squat. And so I, I, I do a little yoga. I kind of activate some muscles in my legs. And I'm like, like you can't beat this thing. It's, it's a winch that could like pick up a truck and, and you're fighting it. But it's that fighting at full muscle engagement that did something weird. And here's what it did. It showed that I could actually support 1,610 foot pounds of force, which would have crushed my spine if it was actual uh, actual weights. And the reason is that we basically got rid of gravity. So, so if you're picking up a big bar and you wobble a little bit, that 9.8 meters per second squared gravity acceleration means the wobble hurts you. Basically you drop the bar and you twist your joints. But when you're fighting against a machine that fights back, but if you let go it doesn't drop, all of a sudden you can really apply your full thing. You're hacking the proprioceptors in your joints. It's the coolest thing ever. So we're gonna talk about this yep. kind of stuff. Hopefully I didn't just steal all your thunder. No, no, but, you did a great job. Yeah. But like, like we're talking five minutes of exercise every week or two in order to get the hormonal, the bone density effects of exercise. Yep. And you can do more than that, but it's not necessary. This isn't walking, this isn't a replacement for moving around. It's just how to get the hormonal benefits of exercise in the least amount of time. Yep. So, exactly. Yep. dude, how did you get into this stuff? Mark? Well, I mean, been around it all my life. Um, grew up in kind of the Nautilus heydays. They were kind of, uh, you know, an influence, Arthur Jones and the, and the high yeah. intensity training principles, but uh, decided to, uh, you know, the entrepreneur in me uh, couldn't stay at the University of Texas that long after I graduated. It was with the athletics department and thought, well, uh, why not, instead of, you know, serving athletes, why don't I help everybody, help the everyday guy, uh, especially the person that's time crunch. So, uh, started Efficient Exercise, which is our bricks and mortar uh, training business, um, and selfishly developed ARX at some point when we uh, when we realized that uh, there's got to be a better way. Um, there's a lot of efficient tools out there, and you mentioned Doug McGuff and kind of a body by science approach, which has some similarities, but um, we're really maximizing um, concentric and eccentric loading, and I think the eccentric loading is something that uh, if somebody walks away with, well, why is this different? Why is this better? That's definitely one of the, the areas that it's, that it's uh, kind of knocking it out of the park. Cool. Yeah. So, um, and uh, now we're kind of in launch mode with, with ARX, and uh, here at Paleo FX is kind of one of the jump starts, if you will, uh, for, for the technology. Yeah. What results have you seen from people using this? 
Well, we sometimes feel like we're cheating because it's, uh, it's uh, uh, people are like, oh, you work out a lot. No, nah, it's like five minutes a week. <laughs> you're, you're pretty solid. I, I don't know. I, I'm mostly electricity. I've used my machine a couple times. Yeah, but. yeah. Um, and, and so really when you when you focus on the, the large compound exercises, you don't have to do a lot of work. Um, most of our workouts on ARX are under 10 minutes. Um, and most people are coming in for that portion of their total well-being for, again, uh, like about 10 minutes a week. When, when I did this, I basically did one squat uh, yep. when I did my first time. This is why and I, you crushed some shoes, right? <laughs> yeah. This is why I, I, I bought the machine yeah, because yeah. you guys, you got to understand, like, like I've always gotten like blisters on my feet. It's been a major issue. So I, I'm into really good shoes that just make me feel great. So I have these $200 Oakley Special Forces combat boots that are like custom engineered and they're really comfortable. And I'm wearing these things and I walk out of there and they're trashed. Like the soles were completely like flattened out. Like, like they were no longer cushioning shoes and I was like you, you bastard <laughs> they weren't that special <laughs> yeah exactly uh, the Oakley marshmallow boots just kidding I, I, I'm a fan of the Oakley stuff but um, that that was an experience where for the next week uh, there were muscles like in the sides of your shin. I don't even know what that muscle's called. Do you know what it's called? Yeah, well, yeah, you probably uh, woke up some things that you hadn't quite yeah. activated. Yeah, yeah. There were some muscles that were sore that I didn't know I had, and that says a lot, because I've done a lot of advanced yoga to figure out muscle control yeah. that I yeah. didn't have. And like, literally, I, people said, did you get in a car accident? I'm like, no, I did one squat. And, and yeah. I, did, I don't normally get sore like that. So yeah. Yeah. It, it was another level for me. Yeah. And, and yeah. that's why I'm like, I want to do this. And I'm going to do it probably once every week or two yeah. uh, in my yeah. lab and, and bring in other people to show them that because it's, yeah. it's there. And also the quantification rocks over any other exercise I've seen. True. Yeah. Tell me how and why you're quantifying this. And I'm going to do a demo for people who are, are not driving yeah. and listening yeah. to this so you yeah. can see how it works. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, some of resistance training is been guesswork at best or traditional strength and conditioning methods. So what we're trying to do is make sure that uh, you're doing the right amount, kind of the dose-response relationship. Uh, with anything, you have to monitor that. And so we're always asking, well, what's the minimum dose required? And so uh, much like many of your your methods that you uh, you know promote, um, we're trying to be efficient with, with what we're doing. Um, so the, the software works to essentially, and we'll go over there here in a second, uh, it's hard to not, not look at it, yeah. um, but, but we're we're mapping out what you've done and your performance. So there's biofeedback to motivate you. And then there's the software tracking that over time you can track your progression and, and, and again, kind of continue to, to improve. So, so one of the principles of, of biohacking uh, that, that I've kind of helped to, to champion is, is this idea that if you want to talk to the nervous system, you got to talk in under 350 milliseconds. Yep. The idea, oh, look what I did a second ago. Your, your body's like, <laughs> yeah, yawn, I'm so yeah, bored. Yeah, yeah. I'm on to the next yep. leopard that might be jumping yep. on me or something, right? Yeah. So one of the things that, that completely um, is most irritating, which means it's a good thing, um, and, and just kind of shocking, is what feedback does. Yeah. Because if you're, like, like let, let's say you've got a big bar in front of you, and, and you're, like, really fighting to do this, this big barbell curl, right? You're just saying, I'm going to push hard. But you don't know if you're really pushing hard. Right? Yeah. So yeah. when you look at this stupid computer screen in front of you, and I say that with love, it has a green bar, and, and this green bar is the top 20% of what you're doing. So you're, you're struggling with the, with, with the winch, basically. You're fighting the thing, and you go into the top 20%. That's cool. But here's the thing. When you drop out of the 20%, you're going to tell yourself that you're still kicking ass, but you're not. You're lying to yourself. It's your proprioceptors and your elbows and your shoulders lying to you, going, oh, we're going to break. We're going to break. Stop. So you're lowering your exercise output, but yeah. but you actually don't know you're doing it. So when yep. I see that green bar, yep. it, I'm like, ah, like my body's lying to me. And it, <laughs> it's so motivational, but yep. it also, yep. it's irritating as all hell because staying in the top 20% of your power curve is, I haven't mastered that. Like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's have very, you? It's, no, it's very difficult. I mean, we're always stronger. Again, I think we, we alluded to eccentric loading, but you know, barbell bench press is a classic example. When you're lowering the bar, you can resist a lot more on the eccentric mm -hmm. phase than you can lift. But yet in a linear and gravity based system, you have to select a weight that is the same every time. Doesn't account for fatigue, doesn't account for any, any of your force capabilities uh, or capacity. So we're maximizing your capacity in that, you know, we are matching through through the adaptive nature of the technology your force capabilities on the eccentric portion of the repetition. So yeah. So if we one of the, the one of the things I'm looking at for this yep. year is it's 
is can my mom do it? Right? Yeah. And, yeah. and so a lot of the biohacks, like, you know, some of them are You're not, not so accessible. Your mom through it. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's not to say all of them, but I'm asking myself yeah. that question a lot. Like, like how can someone who's not, yeah. you know, doesn't have a biohacking lab at home uh, and doesn't do crazy stuff yeah. get benefit from this? Yeah. So what, who, what's the oldest person who's well, tried this? Um, yeah, I mean, we've had clients. So, again, Efficient Exercise is our bricks and mortar training business. We've had uh, uh, clients up to, I think, 93, 94 on it. Yeah. Um, and so really, literally anyone can do it. Okay. And um, is it different than just going to Nautilus for those people? Um, yes. And, and I think it comes down to, you know, for, for anybody, but especially after a certain point in time, uh, uh, the maximum uh, kind of the central nervous system, the ability to fire the fast twitch fibers is ultra important, as well as the bone mineral density. Um, okay. So you're going to lose bone over time. How are you going to ever grow back bone? Well, a couple ways. One is proper eccentric loading. And it has to be enough. There's there's kind of a tipping point, and a Nautilus machine doesn't just get there. Yeah. Um, and then the refeed and the refuel um, of, of replenishing through collagen protein, for example. So, so there, there's three things that I know can yeah. can help people maintain healthy bone density. There's extreme heavy weight bearing exercise, which, yeah. which you've got covered. Yeah. There's collagen, which yeah. you can make your own gelatin. Or you can yeah. use upgraded yeah. collagen. Yeah. Good stuff. Uh, and there's uh, whole body vibration. And, and right next to this, I have the bulletproof vibe. Yeah. What do you yeah. think about that? Stuff. No, I, I think I think that, I mean that's a winning combination, um, and and why not when you have access to that technology? Um, so so yeah, I'm really anxious to kind of see, and I think I should take a trip up there at some point. Sure, uh, to, to you, see you see all this. All, yeah, yeah. Um, but but I think again, you have access to all this technology, so why not take advantage of so it? I, I, yeah. It's how I warm up, right? So I'm yeah, going to stand yeah. on it. I, I get all the tissue circulating a little bit, and then I'm going to yeah. go hit it really hard yeah. you know, on a chest press or something. Yeah. Um, how do you warm up before you get on a machine like this? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we've had warm up come up uh, several times today here, just in kind of our ARX booth, and um, and you can actually warm up on the machine by going at a perceived effort uh, percentage of maximum effort uh, through repetitions. Just kind of, I guess you call that more like a traditional warm up. Uh, there are other ways that we do it through a, a, con- a couple of concentric only devices that we have. Not necessarily released those at this point, but we're, mm-hmm. we're kind of working through some of those. Um, so there are some ways to warm up and, and activate the CNS. And, and act and get the get the blood flowing, um, but yeah, we don't necessarily advocate that like right away. You get maximum effort on the very first rep. Um, you know, um, although maybe but, back, back back at twenty one convention you did. Yeah, but yeah, I think I think that might have been what I did wrong there. And, and when we do the demo today, I'm actually going to go light because um, this whole thing about exercise and recovery. I've I've been on two full panels today, recorded two podcasts. Tomorrow morning I give a keynote to I don't know like a thousand people or something. Um, then I. I'm on another panel about willpower, and then after that, I hop on a plane, fly to LA, and tomorrow I'm going to David Wolf's Longevity Now conference, and I'm giving a keynote yeah. there. So yeah. if I had to recover from a real, like one rep yeah. ARX fit, I would need an extra two hours of sleep. And I'm doing my slide, do I'm doing my slides tonight <laughs> for my keynote tomorrow. Yeah. Like they're, they're done, but they're not pretty. I got to make them pretty. Yeah. So don't kick my ass too hard. And, and no, I say this, totally will not. I say this really seriously for, for people listening. If you're going to do a heavy workout and you have a huge demanding schedule, that's a bad idea. It doesn't yeah. make you a better person. You should save your capacity. So I have yeah. a lot of asking to do on stage this weekend, yeah. right? It, and so my job is to remain resilient and strong and focused. And if I do this to my capacity, I'm going to take a third of my resilience and put it into recovery from this. I don't want that kind of stimulus yeah. in my life right now, yeah. but I do want to try this because I like yeah. it. Well, and it should be said that uh, as, as I'm a co-founder of Paleo Effects and we've ramped up to this, I'm, you know, probably hit my wall like three days ago, but, you know, I'm still powering through and, yeah. and, and you're right. I mean, I'm not going to do a workout right now because why? That's going to damage your recovery. And there's a lot of other things in mental capacity that you gotta allocate your resources yeah. to. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, we will only go so so far. Cool. That. Yeah. Yeah. So, shall we? Uh, yeah. Shall we do this? And, and I'll admit my rustiness on actually controlling the machine. So I'm gonna hand this over to Mike Falano, who is one of my ARX guys, and he's gonna. Mike, Mike knows what he's doing. He's, he knows he, what he's doing. He, he's he gonna installed, take you through. He installed yeah. mine for me. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. then he lost my power supply. And, oh. oh. That's, That's debatable. That's he did debatable. Not. I might have lost it, but it's all working now. What do I do? Okay, so first up, you gotta buckle up. All right. Safety is no accident. You sound like a stewardess. <laughs> so make that as tight as you can. All right. This thing's gonna so, pull you up. So for people listening in your cars, I am putting on a seatbelt and I'm strapping it down so I'm like really strapped in on a, a seat. 
And these are your handles. And I've got two big, like, rubber metal, sort of badass industrial looking pull downs. Uh, and they're going up on two nylon straps above my head, controlled by a winch. Yes, by a mean essentially. Person. Essentially. Uh, so, hands are going to be facing you, uh, All right. palms facing your face, and bring them in just a little bit closer okay. uh, to, your, to your, okay. your face. Great. And so, from here, I want you to think about staying tucked and staying tight at the bottom. And you are going to resist this machine as it's going away from you. All right. Here okay. We go. So your idea is to slow the machine down as All it's right. going up. So I don't know if this is going to make it past the final cut, but I'm just trying to show you guys that uh, um, what I'm doing because it's really interesting. Because you're going to see me like blowing veins or something, <laughs> and then you're going to see this green bar move. I'm not going to go to max capacity because I have a lot of things to do, <laughs> uh, and this will blow out my exercise capacity if, if I do this. Um, I, I want to have something left to give to the audience uh, tomorrow. Um, so, all right, we good to go? Right, okay. So, so your first I'm in, rep, I'm in give position. Me, yeah, give me roughly about 75%. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to pull this up with it and okay. resist. Yeah, Three. You know okay. Okay, ready? All right, I'm resisting. I'm pulling down Three, right now. Three, two, one, resist. So uh, your idea is to slow this thing down. Jeez. The core is engaged and Damn tight. went. Oh, 75%, I forgot. Just 75 and now drive your elbows to the ground, pull those handles down faster and faster. Ugh. Drive this all the way to the, the bottom. Good. All right, Feeling so now weak. you set your baseline, 352. I need you to get above 352 on this next rep. 352, so this means I can do a pull-up. Well, I know yeah. I can, I have a pull-up. You can do plenty more than a pull-up with 352. <laughs> so that's your number that you're gonna look at to, right. uh, to judge. All right, here we go. Three. So what's the highest number you've ever seen there? Uh, closer to like five or six hundred. That would be pretty badass. Yeah, from some pretty strong people. Funny, I'm not like a professional athlete. I Here we go. Do it. Three, two, one. So real tight. Ah, Slow it down, dude. I beat it. Ah. Slow it down. Stay on it, though. <laughs> Don't give up. Stay on there it. There we go. Yeah, no, I just had to beat it. I got up to 425. Now I kicked ass. Drive 434. Down. Ah. Speed it up. <laughs> I cheated, by the way. You got to clear some sugar on this concentric. Oh. <laughs> this is really hard to do. Okay, I'll uh, take a little break, and we're gonna do one more. One more? What are you nuts? One more. I do eight normally. I know, but you're you're manly, and, and I'm you know I'm a biohacker. Like I, you know. I think a biohacker can handle three. Here we I go. Can one more. Three. All right, here three, we go. Three, two, one, and resist. Abs are tight. Core is engaged. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I couldn't go above thirty-four. And I think we're gonna have to stop this one short, ladies oh. and gentlemen. <laughs> No, like, the amount of effort that takes, like, holy crap. I still don't get tired of, of what that level of output does. And I went, this is with the feedback. I went from, what was it, like 350 to 434? Uh, yeah, and so as soon as we were able to dangle a, a carrot in front of you and you were able to yeah. see visually, uh, it works it, ubiquitously across all people. As yeah. soon as I give them a number to shoot for, they almost always get it. So this is this is why I like it because you get that level of intensity, and like I can already feel my arms hurt, like in ways they're not normally hurting. Even if I do like really intense electrical stimulation, you can get an amazing pump and a lot of really heavy pushing. But it's not like this. So will I be doing this once a week? Yes. <laughs> yeah, typically uh, four exercises, all compound movements, very similar to Doug McGuff, Body yep. by Science. And each one is roughly around two minutes of time or eight reps. Well, so. I am so stoked to have this available. Um, so thanks guys for helping make that possible. And uh, I'm, I'm a giant fan of this. I think this is the future of exercise. <laughs> it's, uh, it's remarkable. Well, it better be because I made banners that say that on there, so. The future, did you really? <laughs> I should be in marketing, I swear. All right, thank you, I appreciate it. Guys, this is just an example, it's worth watching on YouTube or on iTunes uh, on video. Just understand that, that there are ways you can exercise that are different than what your grandparents did. And kettlebells are awesome, kettlebell swings are great. Um, this is a different planet. <laughs> and there's nothing that says you shouldn't keep doing body weight exercises, but when you wanna get maximum benefit, Finding a place that has this and once a week coming in for 10 minutes and doing it, once every two weeks even, it might just make sense even if you incorporate that with CrossFit or long distance cycling, whatever else, because 
I don't believe it's possible to get this level of intensity without the biofeedback. And fighting against a force that is clearly stronger than you is, is motivational when you just look at that screen, the one you saw, and you see that, all right, I'm not doing what I did before. I feel like I'm at 100%, but I'm not hitting the number. And when you look at the graph here, you'll see the first time I was doing about 75%, the second time I peaked, and the third time I couldn't, even though I was fighting really hard, I couldn't quite do that. So actually that was when I was like, screw this, and I let go. <laughs> <laughs> but bottom line is, I don't know, we didn't do it before and after, but I'm really feeling it in my biceps. And for a 42-year-old guy who sleeps 5 hours and 58 uh, minutes a night for the last 771 nights, I'm not lying, that's on my phone, um, I, I feel like I'm doing pretty well with this kind of an approach. This kicks ass, and it's the most benefit in the least amount of time. If you like this episode, uh, you know, like, buy the Bulletproof Diet, buy some Bulletproof Coffee. Better yet, just go, go to someone who's, like, fat and really tired and give them a cup of Bulletproof Coffee and just make their day. That rocks. Have an awesome day. Thanks again. ARX. And you go to arxfit.com? Arxfit.com. Right. ARXfit.com. Thank you.